Well, hello everyone. You tuned into a handful of blessings. I'm Kim 1114. Um, I come to show you this is going to be a two part video. The first part, I'm going to show you the Tweety Clutch, Swarovski Clutch bag that I started on. I showed you uh, the beginning of it um, in the last video. So I'm pretty much almost finished with it. And I'll explain that in a second. And the second part of this video, at the end, you'll see a pair of shoes that I did uh, for my mom. I uh, put Swarovski crystals over the entire shoe. And you'll see that at the end of the video. I'm sorry, I forgot to include the, the final results of those shoes um, after I finished them. I gave them to her already, so I can't really do it now. But you'll, you'll see at the end of the video. So this is the purse that I started on and I pretty much I finished the front side of it as you can see and I added the letter these are the letters that I ordered and I uh, put it on the purse in the front and you can see the letters on here is bigger than the letters on the shoes this is the shoes you can see the letters is a big bigger on the uh, purse than the shoes which is I ordered like that that's the way I wanted it so this is the front side of it I finished doing the front and the back side I'm almost complete with with it I decided to go with all clear on the back um, I was gonna add a few flowers and I changed my mind I didn't want too much color on this purse other than the front of it so um, I changed my mind like I said basically because the shoe on this side is basically clear the heel is all clear and it has a few flowers on, on the top of it but I didn't want a whole lot of colors on this purse because I didn't want it to take away from the, the uh, actual image on the front which is the Tweety Bird which is the main image on the front of the purse so I decided to keep it just plain um, I thought I had enough Swarovski crystals but I didn't I have to order some more and I used uh, 12 SS uh, crystal clear Swarovski crystals on the purse and this is two bag, two and a half bags on the back so when I get finished I think I, I, I've been used I think when I get completely finished with the back of the purse um, I would have used about I think three bags because uh, the bag that I ordered to finish this up with I'll have some of those left I know so I used probably about three three bags just on the back of the purse the front I can't even remember how many bags I used to be honest total total for the back so that's the way that it came out um, like I said, I'll finish this up. So I probably won't do another. I won't do an updated video after I finish this. Because you pretty much can tell I read what it's going to look like. So the next time you see it uh, will probably be me wearing it. Probably <laughs> me taking it. So I'll finish the other side up. And um, then I'll be completely finished with it. Um, the second part of the video, like I said, are some shoes that I did for my mom. Which you'll see at the end of the video. I forgot to take pictures of the... Uh, of her shoes the final results of them before I gave them to her so I already gave them to her so it's too late <laughs> but um, you can pretty much get an idea of what it's gonna look like so this is the way the clutch came out uh, let me know what you think about it and stay tuned for the second part of the video of this pair of shoes that I did next Well, hello everyone. You tuned into a handful of blessings. I'm Kim 1114. Uh, I know I might sound a little bit out of it. I'm still under the weather. I'm still dealing with this cold or flu or whatever it is. But anyway, I want to show you. I'm working on another pair of shoes. Um, they're not for me. Um, these are not my shoes. These are my mom's shoes. I decided to. She liked my Tweety Bird shoes so much that she wanted a pair of them. But she didn't want Tweety Bird on them, of course. She just wanted them. Uh, just a rhinestone all over something that she could wear with anything so I thought uh, to rhinestone with the crystal AB rhinestones would be perfect because they reflect different colors she can wear it with whatever she want to wear it with so these are the shoes um, this is the way they look before I've done anything to them so this is the before picture of them and she wanted the low heel too she wore tall heels too but she wanted these to be low a low heel something something comfortable and this is a shoe that I've done already. This is the one that I finished. Move this one over some. And basically what I did, I covered them with um, 20, size 20 SS Crystal AB 
Swarovski crystals. So they're a little larger than the ones on my Tweety Bird shoes that I showed you. But um, they still look really, really nice, as you can see. Really, really cute. Now I want to keep them for myself, but <laughs> I'm going to give them back to her. I'm going to give them to her, though. And I didn't do the heel because the heel of the, the shoes, they're silver already. So I thought um, they'll look cute with just the silver heel showing on them. So this is the ending results of them. I'm going to finish the other shoe and do it the same way. It didn't take very long. I guess because the rhinestones are larger. The larger the rhinestones, the less time it'll take to do them. So basically what I did with I, I, um just the design or whatever this is that was on her shoe. I took some scissors and I cut it off basically. So this is the design a sequence or something that was on the toe of them. This was on the, the opposite shoe. And I just took it and cut it off so it give me a smooth surface to work on. And uh, when I cut it off, I just start laying in the rhinestones. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do the other shoe as well. But I just wanted to show you the, the way they look before and after that I did them. So hopefully you like it. Uh, let me know what you think about these. Because uh, I know some people don't like cartoon characters or whatever on their shoes. So I decided to show you what a pair of would look like just uh, a plain pair would look like with nothing on them like I said these the rhinestones on here are much larger than the ones let me get more of my Tweety Bird shoes and show you the difference in the sizing of the rhinestones one second okay so these are the Tweety shoes that I did you can see the uh, the rhinestones are much smaller on these than they are on these these are larger so that's the size difference on them so hopefully you like these shoes uh, let me know what you think about these and I will talk to you later YouTube till then take care